All right, guys. So I want to just give a little overview of the product review. I'm going to have basically a bunch of photos and some video clips mixed in, and I'm just going to talk over the uh, slides just to give you an idea of what's going on. And you guys can go to markrdh.com for more uh, information on these products, uh, links to purchase, and while you're there, of course, uh, subscribe and you'll get a notification for future uh product reviews and other things. Okay. All right, the first uh, dental suction mirror on the market here we're going to look at is the Miravac. It's uh, made out of plastic. It's disposable so it's only one time use and they're about 50 cents each. The Diodent is a stainless steel uh, suction mirror with a silicone grip and these are about 36 bucks a piece and these can be autoclaved. And the third product is the relatively new one on the market is the New Bird suction mirror. It's made out of stainless steel too. It's a silicone grip. It's 199 each. This these this particular brand is uh, the high quality version compared to the other ones and uh, these can be autoclaved. You'll notice on the pictures and uh, and video the name on this mirror is going to say Hammerhead. The company changed the name recently, but it's basically the same product. I like calling this the, the Mercedes of suction mirrors just because of the quality. You can really feel the difference when you pick this up. They also have a new version. It's a $129 version, which has more plastic parts to it. Still, it's still part of it. It's steel. But the mirror face cannot be changed out whereas this version can be, and we'll take a look at that in the, some of the future slides here. All right, just a close look at the uh, Mirovac. You can see the, um, the suction holes. There's basically like half on the side and there's, and there's some on the back, and you'll see a better picture later. These come with like a little film on top just to protect it, so when you use it, you just uh, peel that off and use it and then it's when you're like one time use so you can throw it away after that. This is the Diodent version. I've been using these for a long time. Uh, this one's is kind of beat up you can see in the picture. Uh, like, I think it's a size 4 mirror on this. Uh, it's got holes on the side and it's got holes in the back and we'll see a better picture of that. And this is the new bird suction mirror with uh, you'll see it's got the uh, holes on the face of the mirror, which is a big deal, and we'll get into that more a little bit later. There's no holes on the edge of it, and there's a bunch of holes on the back. You'll see that in a sec. So here are the three. With the, you can see the back of them, the uh, mirror back with the, I think it's yeah, it's four holes in the back, and it kind of curves to the side a little bit, and then you have the diodent with four holes in the back, four holes on the edge, and the new bird has five holes in the back and the holes on the front as you saw before. Here I have the Mirovac attached to the slide rejector valve and also the diodent, same thing. And the new bird, here it's showing this can be attached to the slide rejector too but you're going to get weaker uh, suction of course. Here it's showing it attached to the uh, optional HV adapter hose, which is 89 bucks. I highly recommend getting this if you're going to get the new bird suction mirror. For a couple of reasons, you get the the power of the HVE suction. It's a very flexible hose that hangs very well. The whole thing can be autoclaved, and the way it clicks into the hose at the end, it'll it'll turn, it'll twist. So for ergonomics, it's it's very nice for that. And here's just another picture of the same thing. It's got like a nice little hook so you can uh, you know, hang the uh, suction mirror when you're not using it as opposed to just kind of flopping it over um, over the valve or something like that. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of close-up shots of everything. This is the mirror back at the lower lingles, which this, this position is where suction mirrors in general really shine. It's nice to have very clear vision and suction at the same time. Not that it's you know saliva or water is not going to get past these things, but it's definitely definitely the best uh, use of it. 
and this is just the Muravac and the upper left molars showing it there and this is the lower left molars again this is where suction mirrors really work well when you uh, using the power scaler and uh, you're you know, working on the uh, lingual side and going on the distal the last molar so just the uh, it's a diodent version in the same position the lower lingual this picture is a little blurry I'm using my iPhone 4 I'll have an iPhone 6 at some point I get better pictures but not too bad and just uh, upper left again with the diodent and the lower left molars and the diodent works really well in this position and this is where the the new bird really works well because of the holes on the face and uh, this is my favorite you know position to use this suction mirror in particular and get you know to scale all the uh, lower linguals here again another blurry picture from my iPhone 4 but this is just showing the upper left and then the lower lower left uh, molars so now I'm just going to basically sh go through this this uh, video and it's going to show um, all the same positions so, so you can just see it you know, in the live a live video she's just using the cheek retractor just to, to get a, a better view of it obviously you don't need that when you're working on the patient See here in this position, <clears throat> the new bird with the hold on the face works really well because it's not really doing on, on this particular patient, but a lot of times the uh, tissue will get sucked up into the uh, suction holes and you'll have no suction. Whereas on the new bird, you're going to get uh, always have suction, especially in that position. Now here, this is the uh, new bird, you know, attached to the HV suction. You get a lot of power. I don't personally use these cheek retractors with the patients, but uh, you know, now I'm watching these videos. It's probably probably a decent way to do sealants in the lower left and lower right. And if you use a suction mirror to retract the tongue and then use it, have the patient hold their cheek back to, um, you know, while you're placing the sealant. Because a lot of times if you, some patients that, you know, are fighting you a little bit, I guess you can say, their, their cheek sometimes gets into the, uh, the tooth and, you know, contaminates the tooth while you're trying to place sealant. So here's a diodent mirror. It's attached to the saliva ejector. You can, you can hear the difference in the suction. It's not as strong, but works. You know, works decent. And upper left, same thing. It's not really uh, blocking the holes in this particular patient, but sometimes it'll do that, and then you have no suction at all in the back. So that's where, again, the new bird with that, with the holes on the face of the mirror, really, really shine. So I just want to show you guys the on the new bird suction mirror the the uh, mirror face can be changed with this uh, little key. And I'm going to show you a video in a second here, and just a closer picture of the 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 piece you're going to replace. And this is the and the main reason why you're going to replace the suction mirror is the the mirror gets scratched up over time. And I know that you know there's a price difference between all these uh, mirrors. People might you know, balk at the at the price of this one because oh, it's a pretty expensive, one ninety nine. But it's really a long term investment, and it's the best performing mirror. And to replace these things, it's, it's about six, it's six bucks a piece. So, so these things are going to last you a long, long time. And they so, and they're sold by the dozen for seventy two bucks, so it's six bucks a piece. So I'm just going to show you a little quick video here of uh, me changing it. It's, it takes a little practice, but it's uh, it's pretty easy to do. And it comes right out. 
and it just clicks right into the into the head here and boom you're done all right so just a summary for me personally the new bird is definitely the best choice and I know a lot of people uh, you know don't want to spend a lot of money but you basically get what you pay for and I'm mean, like I was saying before it's a it's definitely a long-term investment and the ability to change the mirror face is, is a big deal and the, the dioden is acceptable it's a decent I've been using those for a long time I now have switched to new bird but and those are not bad the mirror vac to me is pretty weak and I wouldn't recommend that personally so if you guys have any questions about any of these products uh, you know please go to markrdh.com and just post your questions there so everybody else can see them to learn from and if you haven't subscribed to the blog uh, uh, please do and I, that's kinda like my main hub so everything I do interviews product reviews and so on it's all gonna be there so you just get an email you know to be notified if I uh, post anything alright thanks guys